So there's been a lot going on the last few weeks and in fact I've not actually managed to get as many videos out as I normally have because there's so much going on behind the scenes. My mega website, the core update that hit us and I launched my new um, branded website carlbrovent.com. So I thought I'd do a catch up video and tell you what's been going on. So let's get into this. Hi and welcome back to the channel. Sorry I've not done as many videos as I normally do. Uh, as you know, I've been trying to launch my new website, my mega website, which I did on the 15th of December. And it took a lot of work to get there. And as you can appreciate, I've had to kind of put a lot of other things to side. And um, I thought I'd do a bit of a catch up video with you guys. I didn't even manage to get around to do my Q&A for December. I will get that out to you guys. I know there's a lot of you been asking for it. I did actually film it, but for some reason the um, 45 minutes worth of video content actually corrupted on my camera. So um, that was a bit of a waste of time. So uh, I had to scrap that, I'm afraid, uh, but I will do another one. Certainly in the next couple of days, I'll get that out to you. But in today's video, I thought I'd talk about my mega website. Uh, let's briefly touch on the core update. Uh, a lot of people have done videos about it, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail about it. My new uh, branded website, carlbrobin.com, and let's talk about the case study website that I'm gonna build in 2021 and then give away to one viewer. It's causing a bit of a stir amongst my kind of followers and on my Discord channel, which is great to see. And a lot of people are asking for some information and a bit of detail around it. So I'm gonna bring a few videos out before we actually get started with the build on January the 2nd. So if you've not heard about it, I'll leave a card up in the description. You can go check it out. In 2021, for the full 12 month period, I'm gonna build a niche website from scratch show you every step of the way, add a ton of content to it, get it to where it's earning a good monthly income and it's worth a good few thousand dollars and then I'm gonna give it away. I'm gonna randomly do a, a draw and pick one uh, subscriber to my newsletter. Uh, you head over to carlbrobin.com, you'll see all the details there and uh, one lucky person is gonna win that website. How much it's worth, I don't know. It could be a few thousand dollars, could be a few hundred dollars, could be ten thousand dollars. I really don't know. But one thing's for certain, it's gonna have a lot of content on it. It's gonna be well built, well structured, a lovely theme, fast hosting on it. So it should be successful and it should be a valuable asset that I can give away to one of you guys. So for now, let's head over to the computer and let's have a bit of a catch up on all these areas that I've just mentioned. So I thought we'd touch on the core update. Uh, there was so many people bringing videos out when it happened that I didn't actually manage to get one out myself. Uh, there were some really good ones out there and uh, I thought I'd just quickly touch on that. So one of my websites was hit, one of my bigger websites, hutchincage.com, saw an absolute massive uh, decrease on starting around December the 4th. I noticed my analytics for the day wasn't looking good. Normally get about three and a half thousand visitors a day on that site and it dropped to about 2,000. So I thought yeah, maybe we're just coming out of the end of Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Maybe just people are, you know, not looking at pet stuff and they're looking at, you know, buying gifts and things like that. So I didn't really think much of it. Um, but then took a look at my uh, tracker and uh, saw that all the numbers was red. So I saw a huge decrease, especially in number one and number two positions. I didn't see anything like previous updates where articles had just disappeared out of the SERP index. It wasn't that. It was just that they lost the rankings. So on December 4th, I lost 59 position one rankings uh, on that website alone. It had around 80 or 90 number one positions and it lost nearly 60 of them overnight, which obviously was a shock. Uh, it knocked them down to positions five, six, and seven. And obviously, you know the difference if you're in position five or six, you're certainly not gonna get the same sort of traffic that you get when you're number one. So huge panic came over me, hence the reason I didn't get a lot of videos out. I was just focusing on actually what was going on and seeing if there was anything I can do. But what I quickly learned is uh, you can't do a lot. There's a, you know, I learned that from the May core update. If you haven't seen the video, I'll leave a card up in the screen somewhere. Um, I did a really in-depth video all around the May core update and all the things I tried to do to improve on that and uh, try and pull back the traffic from that when I lost it on a different site. But as I found, months of trying, there was nothing you could do. You just have to sit and wait for the rollback uh, when they bring another core update out and normally it reverses it. 
Um, but with this one, this was really strange. This was very, very different. So if you take a look at the screen there, you can see the huge dip in traffic just here. So it started Wednesday the 2nd. So I didn't really feel it till it got to about here, Thursday, December the 3rd. And I noticed, like I say, my analytics started to drop a little bit. And then when I got to Friday the 4th, that's when I noticed, wait a minute, normally get three and a half thousand visits. I'm down to two, something's wrong here. And then it stayed around the same. And uh, I only saw it was on December the 13th and 14th where I started to see some improvement and some of my keywords, which attract insert robot start to come to the top again now let's go over insert robot and i'll show you so i put this little slide together here you can see um like i said december the fourth it really hit for three two or three days just dreadful everything was red everything was horrible and then you can see here december the 7th we started to see green numbers you can see here on the right hand side I had 213 articles 206 have been picked up uh, the difference there is there's one or two weird ones that just don't rank, don't get picked up, not a clue why. And there's one or two new ones in there. But as you can see here, top 30, we've got two went back up to the top 30. Uh, top 10, two went back up into the top 10. And as you can see here, top three, five new ones went up to the top uh, three, but also went back to the kind of 90 to 100 articles that I had previously in the top three ranking positions. So literally it went from overnight, kind of de December the 4th, 5th, 6th, to all being red, all being horrible. And then just, I woke up December the 7th, looked at that and saw the green numbers. And then a couple of days later, this continued. So as you can see here, um, top 30 went up again, another four went up, no, top 10, another one went up, and top three, another three went up. And if you look at the left hand side, you can see the overall position. So uh, December 7th, my overall average position from those 213 articles was position 13. And then December the 9th, it went to position 12. December the 12th, it went to position 12.31. And then you can see December the 15th, it's 11.46. Uh, and I think now I've checked today, it's around average position around 10. So literally, 220 odd articles that I have, the majority of them are closer to page one than anything else. So, phew, um, it seems to have kind of corrected itself and I'm, I know a lot of people are seeing the same. This was simply a massive drop, two or three day, uh, days, a steady climb back up. Now, fingers crossed, I think the core update seems to have finished now. I think the rollout has ended and I think these numbers should carry on improving and I think that'll be it. I think it'll be nice and steady. Do I think there's going to be any more rollouts? I think there is. I think January, February, March, we're going to see another big rollout. And uh, fingers crossed, if you got hit from this last one, you'll see that reverse, hopefully, in the one coming in 2021. Uh, it's been a bit of a roller coaster ride this year. And uh, one thing I've learned from it is don't panic. If you know you've got a good website with good content, it will come back. You may know that Fish Keeping Forever, a website that I recently sold, got hit with a May core update and that has started to come back. So it's taken uh, two more core updates before it's actually starting to creep back up. But there's positive signs on that. The keyword track on that is green every day. So um, if you have been here, it's tough, especially at this time of year when you're supposed to be earning the best money you can from your website. But um, just sit back. It will come, have confidence in the website that you've built, have confidence in your content, and uh, eventually when they do a rollback, might not be next rollback, might be the one after that, but it will always come back. Okay, so what else has been going on? Well, as you know, I've been building my mega website behind the scenes. Uh, it is one that I am gonna share data and statistics and stats and everything with you, um, but I won't reveal the domain name. I will obviously <laughs> publicly show you the uh, website case study that I'm building and giving away. That's going to be 100% out there. You'll see that. But with this one, it's been such a large investment for me and I'm trying some new stuff on there. I really want to keep it a little bit secretive so that I can figure it out for myself and build myself a good business. Will I reveal this niche? I probably will do. Maybe give me a year or so's time when I've got such authority in this niche that it can't be copied. Or if it is, you're going to have a hard time beating it. Um, so let me just work on this. This is my livelihood. It is my business as well. Let me work on this and I'll share as much data as I can. And one thing I want to show you here. So I wanted to launch the site with over 100 articles on the website or certainly at least 100,000 uh, word count. 
And as you can see here from my keyword tracker, I managed to get 59 keywords into my tracker. I have got more than that published, but some of them aren't really main keywords that I want to track, but I've got 59 main keywords in my tracker. And you can see we're already starting to pick up. So we've got three indexed and one is in the top 30. And then obviously we've nothing in the top 10, nothing in the top three. So um, a lot of work to do on this, but it's um, a six month old, slightly matured domain. So I'm expecting to see these jumping up uh, into the uh, rankings very quickly. And as you can see from the screen now, I'll show you, you can see here, they're all in the tracker, but obviously they are not being found. So they're not being picked up by Google. It's not being crawled yet. A lot of this content, like say December the 15th, it all got published. So it's only been live on the website now for a couple of days. So one thing I've been working on on this site, which I can share with you, uh, is the product pages. So, so the whole premises around this website is creating lots of huge silo structures. So I'm going to have some main guides within niches. So there'll be a main piece of content. Then there'll be a lot of response posts, which will all be linked back to that main post. And then there'll be one or two product guides or product reviews, again, that will link back to that main post, all in a silo structure. Now, I have got some videos on my channel about the silo structure and how I'm building it and why this website is slightly different to anything that I've done uh, in the past. I've always tried to rank every single piece of content that I've published in the past as a main keyword. With this, I'm not. I'm only keen on actually ranking the main subtopics within this niche. So there's overall, there's 423 main seed keywords that I'm chasing and all the other content, which hopefully over the next few years will be thousands of pieces of content. I'm not really bothered how well they rank. The only purpose for all that content is to rank these main 423 seed keywords. So slightly different to any other website I've ever built. And uh, the look, the theme of it is still the same as a generic website that you see. We're building it with Oxygen. It's been a fantastic uh, piece of software tool to use. Um, a friend of mine, Phil, over at spiderweb.co.uk has been working frantically on this and he's done a great job. We've uh, got a lovely looking website and I wanted to show you the product guides. So again, I've done these slightly different. I've been trying to figure out a real simple template for a product guide that would um, rank um, but also be very quick to produce because I have 423 main seed keywords. I want to get four or five product reviews for each seed keyword. So there's a couple of thousand articles just there. So I need the format and the structure to be really quick and simple. So you can see it has a header image at the top and as you scroll up, you can see we'll have the usual uh, title and then a nice little introduction. Now, um, before you start asking, I'm not doing another fish site. I've just knocked this up as a quick template just to show you. So I've used Aquarium Fish uh, as, a, um, as a template, as an example. It's not in the fish niche. Don't worry, that's not happening again. Um, but the, it was a quick example that I could uh, knock up for you on the site, obviously without revealing my domain. So if you have a look here, it's going to have your normal uh, header and then it's going to have a nice little catchy intro. And then we're going to use these kind of headings here. So it will be kind of top three and best five. No more than that, not doing top 10. And it will simply have a header. So the header might be uh, something like budget option. And then the next one might be top seller. And then the next one might be editor's choice. So you can see here, I've done a few examples. So obviously I said I've used aquariums here. So uh, 50 gallon or less filter. And then as you can see, we have a lovely little box. Now this is AAWP, and this is a style of box that I actually stolen or borrowed off of a friend of mine, John Moore. He has a YouTube channel. I will leave a card up or a link in the description to his channel. And this is the AAWP box, but it's with a little bit of his own kind of coding or the way he formats them. Uh, in where you, you're able to actually add your own uh, text. You see this here? This is actually what I've written. So I've managed to change the format of the AAWP boxes and create something ourselves, which is a little bit more unique. Because you know, sometimes you get the AAWP and it pulls in lots of information that you don't really want. It'll say the manufacturer's model number or it'll say 12 months guarantee. And you might not want that information on there. And I just want the information to be a little bit more 
targeted and specific. So, so if this is a filter for a 50 gallon fish tank, I want to quickly tell them why it's suitable, why I like it, why I think it's the best option. And then as you can see, the same repeated down here as we go. And uh, you can also add an other box here with the code that John supplied. Like I say, I will share that. Um, it's over on his channel. He has the code there, you can use that. So as you can see, it's a nice, clean, simple format. And then we go obviously into the buyer's guide. So as you can see, it's a nice, simple little buyer's guide, little bit of information that could rank the article itself. And then going on to a, an editor's pick where we have a final call to action and then a final thoughts at the end. So um, quite a nice looking little um, product review. Very quick and simple. It takes me around an hour to write one of these. So hopefully I can uh, you know, knock out three or four of them in a day. And uh, these will all help to link back to the main C keyword. I'm not too bothered about these ranking uh, because when somebody lands on the main seed keyword that is hopefully ranking for tens of thousands of visitors uh, a month, the big C keywords, then these will show up in the related posts. So um, these will get more clicks from people landing on the main website then I think they will from organically being searched. So if you take a quick look at the numbers, uh, I wanted 100 articles published on this website. You can see here, so in post, so these are information posts. You can see we've got three published, not a lot, but we've been focusing on the other parts. So if I then go to the main seed keywords, you can see here that we've got 40 overall, 13 are in draft, four are pending approval, and 23 have been published. And then if we go to another section on the website, you can see we have 38 in there, of which 38 are published. And then we have the product guides where I've just started playing around with them and we've got two. So you can see here, I managed to get 128,000 uh, words published and there is about another 60, 50 or 60,000 words waiting in drafts to be published. So I have managed to get the 100 on the website. I have managed to get nearly 200,000 words of content, which is, is almost as big as one of my websites that's taken a year to build. So I've managed to get nearly 200,000 words of content on a website within a few weeks. And uh, the rest of this content will be published in the next few days. It's taken a lot longer to actually format and edit and proofread the content than I thought. Because the main seed keywords are three, four, 5,000 word articles which take a lot of editing and a lot of proofreading. So I've got seven writers on the site now working full time. We've got two editors and we've got a VA on there as well. And obviously I'm on there paying the writers, organizing it all. Uh, again, it's been a learning curve for me. Certainly in 2021, I may have to change the way I work and I need to find a real streamlined process for how I manage my writers, how I pay the bills, how we keep track of the content. The minute we're working from spreadsheets and uh, it's not a simple process, it only takes one person to not click something or not say that they've written something and you, you get yourself into a lot of trouble. So really excited about it. Like I say, there's 59 keywords being tracked at the minute. I'll add the rest of the keywords into my tracker as soon as the content's published. So we're looking in the next few days, 200,000 words live on the site, over 100 articles live on the site, 100 articles being uh, tracked in the SERP robot. So I'll be able to bring you all the data as soon as they start getting tracked and ranked, we'll be able to see how they're doing. So you can see here that the domain is six months. So I've pretty much done what I wanted to. I wanted to get the whole site launched, published with over 100 articles on within the first six months. And hopefully we'll be out of the sandbox because this has been registered as a domain with a, a couple of pieces of content on and a little bit of meta descriptions around the main uh, niche that it's in. So Google should now know that this domain is six months old. It's within this certain niche. And now that I've got 100 articles on, there should be no way in around. If everybody says doing this slightly aged domain, I know it's not years old, but it is slightly aged. It should technically come out of the sandbox much quicker. So. Who knows? We'll see uh, very shortly how that goes. And I will bring you as much information on that as I can. But it's live, it's published. Whew, it's taken a lot of time to get here and a lot of money. We're probably five or $6,000 into this already. 
So uh, it is a big investment. So uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll see some results. So the last thing I wanted to touch on today was the launch of CarlBroven.com. Again, I thought I'd do a big video on this, but I've not managed to actually get one out. Like I said, too busy with the mega site. Uh, but as you can see here from the screenshot now, I managed to get uh, this website launched, which is all based mainly around my YouTube channel and kind of my journey in affiliate marketing. Uh, I will put on some blogs on there, but I'm not really bothered if this website ranks organically. It's just somewhere that if I do anything that uh, I want to share with you, I can send you over to here. and We've got kind of a base for everything. There is a link to my keyword care service and more importantly, there's a link to my giveaway. So if you go on carlbrobin.com, click the giveaway, you can see um, I've knocked up a quick article. It's not very uh, pretty, but it does the job. It shows you what it's all about. And if you want to win my case study, which is starting on January the 2nd, head over to here, click the little uh, call to action button here, and you'll go over to my uh, email software, which I use ConvertKit. Uh, again, ConvertKit, I'm going to get a video out about that so soon. It's been a fantastic tool. It really is good. It's expensive, uh, but it does the job really, really well. And you can see here, this is one of their templates, just a simple uh, template where you can put your name and email address and register for this competition. So if you want to do that, click the link, enter your details, and I'll you will be entered into my newsletter. I might say once a month, I'll bring you some information on the uh, website that we're building. But you can follow it on YouTube anyway. It's going to be, like I say, um, I don't know if it's weekly, but certainly every couple of weeks there'll be a video about the website, the case website giveaway, and how it's doing. And you'll be able to follow the progress of it throughout the 12 months, right up until the last day, which will be January the 2nd, 2022, where we'll do the draw and we'll give the site away. So there you go. Bit of a catch up. Okay, so there you go. You can see it's been a very busy uh, five, six weeks for me. And uh, that's one of the reasons I've not got as much YouTube content out as I normally do. But if you want to follow me and follow this journey of building the um, giveaway website, then please do remember to click the link below and head over to my uh, carlbrobin.com website and you can find the link is in there. All you need to do, you don't need to do anything, just subscribe to the newsletter just so I'm able to pick a winner. I couldn't really think of any other way over a course of a year to be able to pick a winner other than just getting all your details in one place and doing a using a random online tool generator to pick a winner. So um, if you subscribe to that newsletter, I will also inform you every month. I'll do one email. I won't bombard you, but I will do one email that gives you uh, an update of the content that was added, the word count that was added, um, maybe the expenses that month and certainly the income that it's earned that month. So if you're subscribed to the newsletter, you're gonna be informed every step of the way, and you're gonna get a feel for how big or how valuable the website is throughout those email chains. So it's worthwhile uh, definitely having a go at that. Uh, it's not gonna cost you anything, you don't have to do anything, then you could be the owner of a really valuable website. So I hope you like that quick catch up. I have a ton of video ideas that I wanna do and wanna get out, but obviously, we're just coming up to the Christmas period now. I've just got the mega website launched. There's so much been going on. And I do obviously want to have a few days off with my family over Christmas. My son's actually been quite poorly the last few uh, days. We've been in isolation again. He's had to have a COVID test. So, you know, there's so much going on. Uh, I just want to obviously get as much content out as I can for you guys, but also keep my business going and also have some time with my family. So. Uh, I will make some more videos before Christmas, don't worry, we'll get a few more out to you and uh, then I'm really looking forward to January the 2nd when we start building the giveaway website together. So if you've not subscribed to my channel, please do so, click the little bell icon and then you'll be notified when I bring a new video out and uh, thanks again for joining me and I will see you in the next video.